Hello guys, this is Damian from ForexBolt.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live Forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So currently I'm looking at the 5 minute chart of the American dollar Japanese yen Forex pair. As you see, after a beautiful and successful double top char chart pattern, the price action has created a decent bearish run over here and it is now meeting a support level at 110.11 which marks the previous low on the chart from like few hours ago. As a result of this the price is currently hesitating and it is trying to bounce in bullish direction from the 110.11 level. For this reason, if the current candle finishes that big and it, and it stays bullish, I will use this candle to open a long trade on the assumption that the price is probably starting a correction in bullish direction after the bearish trend I'm currently pointing on the chart. Let's now zoom in the chart and see how the trend looks like actually. Here it is. This is the trend. As you see, the price is currently breaking this trend in bullish direction. Marking it with yellow. And on the 5 minute chart, we already have, or not yet, the end of the big bullish candle. Here it is. Now I'm going to buy half lot of the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair on the assumption that the price is probably starting a correction. At the same time, I will tackle the trade with a stop loss order below the lowest point on the chart. below the support level at 110.11 I'm going to place it at 110.9 110.9 I apologize 110.09 at the same time I will use some price action tricks To measure the potential target of this trade where I believe that the price will increase at least to the trigger line of the double top pattern the trigger line which is selected by the bottom between the two tops of the pattern meaning that I will stay into the trade for a minimum price move to 110 point 25. However, if the price increase continues further, I will simply hold the trade longer. Because if I see the price breaking top after top with high intensity, without stopping in front of anything, I see no reason closing the trade at 110.25. For this reason, I will carefully observe my trade and I will decide my exit point from this trade based on the price behavior at the different resistance levels on the chart. The important thing is that on the one minute chart, the trend breakout, the breakout through the yellow bearish trend is already a fact and I can freely mark it with this circle over here. On the 5 minute chart, we see that the price is bouncing from the 23.6 Fibonacci level uh, on the previous bearish trend. 
I mean, it is now it is not bouncing, but the price is clearly clearly hesitating in this area. However, this is not a sufficient reason to close the trade since the price is uh, is still trying to create a bullish run as a result of the bounce from the 110.11 level and the price is now approaching my entry point meaning that the trade will very soon be like profitable On the one minute chart, that fight, that price fight shows that the, the consolidation, the small consolidation created after the breakout was broken in bullish direction. I'm going to mark that consolidation with this pink rectangle on the chart. See that the price shot up, shot up right over here through the 23.6 Fibonacci level. Confirming that the bullish run is likely to continue above the 23.6 level on the chart. And now I intend to pause the video and to come back to this trade later to see if the price is really going to approach my minimum target at 110.25. And if it does, I will then decide if I'm going to hold the trade longer. Or if I'm going to exit the trade on the assumption that the bullish run on the chart and the correction is already finished. Alright guys, we're back about half an hour later to see that the price has created another correction to the 110.11 support level. And then it bounced in bullish direction, leaving our stop loss order untouched. And this way the price confirmed a famous pattern, which means that our trade is currently developing in something new. This is the double, the double bottom chart pattern, which I'm currently marking with this rectangle, which I'm thinking a color of. <laughs> this is a fire brick color. Yeah, that looks okay. Now I'm going to mark the pattern for you with with orange, for example, chocolate color that works. Okay, this is the first move of the pattern. Second move goes over here. Another move over here. And the last move that confirmed the pattern, breaking its trigger of line uh, approximately at our entry point. So I I marked the pattern with this rectangle over here because I used the rectangle to measure the, the size of the pattern. Then when I take the size, I can apply it starting from the moment of the breakout. And I can set a further target on the chart for my trade. As you see, the top of the rectangle matches perfectly with the 61.8 Fibonacci level which is another additional reason to believe that the price will most likely increase to this level so I will take the 61.8 Fibonacci level of the previous trend as a minimum for my trade but there is something else which I need to show you on the chart and since the trade developed uh, further I need to approach this alternative as well. This is a level that goes through the last four, one, two, three, four tops on the 30 minute chart. I'm gonna mark this level with red so it will be like different color. This level shows that every time the price decreases we see a return to the red line 
that connects the last stops on the chart. Here it is one, two, third stop over here, four stops. Uh, for this reason, the current price bounce from the 110 point level resistance level might might lead to a price increase that could reach the red bearish line that corrects that connects the last three tops on the chart. But this is something I cannot tell for now. For this reason, I will continue to watch my trade where I will pursue at least a minimum price move to the 61.8 Fibonacci level, somewhere at the 110.27 resistance zone. And I keep my stop loss order at 110.09. Let's change the color like that. And now I'm going to mark my entry point as well so we will have a better visual basis on this trade some like 110.19 okay now i'm gonna pause the video one more time and i will come back in like 10 maybe 15 minutes or why not half an hour to see how is the trade developing and to see if I have a sufficient reason to close the trade, for example, as a result of the price interaction with, with the 110.27 resistance, or maybe even sharper increase on the chart. You never know. So let's pause the video and let's meet um, a bit later. Okay, guys, we're back about one hour later to close the trade because the price created a very big peak in bullish direction, which is the reason I immediately closed the trade. Uh, the price shot up, completed the double top chart pattern, but since I saw that big bullish candle over here, that big bullish candle over here, I assume that the increase will continue, but the price quickly shot up and got back, which is the reason I tried to come to you as soon as possible to close the trade. Now I will mark my exit point from this trade on the chart. I close my trade at uh, 110.33 after the price reached the red bearish line that connects the last four tops on the chart one two three and four here they are again one two three and four the price hit that level again which was the reason I I got back to the trade to close it as soon as possible I remind that uh, I entered the trade at 110 point, uh, somewhere at 110 point, uh, 21, placing a stop loss order at 110 point, uh, 0 0.09, and I close the trade at 110 point 33, uh, which means that I made a profit of 22 pips, which is like 0. 22 from the price and now with a simple calculation I will calculate my profit in this case I will divide 0 0.22 the moving price that I managed to catch I will divide it uh, by the entry price I took in this trade which is 110.21 10 10.21 And this gives me a result of 0 0.001996. And when I multiply this by 100, uh, I get something like uh, 0 0.1996, which is approximately 0.2%. 
without uh, four digits at the fourth symbol after the decimal. I remind the profit from this trade equals to 0 0.1996%, which is pretty much 0.2%. A very good trade. A trade that took um, something like Took like less than two hours, an hour and a half approximately, and a trade that brought me to 0.2%. Very good trade. This is how we should scalp the market and how we should attempt to scalp the market. Uh, by the way, notice that the price reached the red bearish line and now it is creating another turning point on the chart. At the same time, the level tested the support, uh, the resistance level. I'm going to mark it with yellow, that uh, formed the double top pattern with pink QC on the chart. And then after the price reached this level, it's now creating another turning point on the chart. Maybe the price will return to the 110.11 uh, support, or the price will simply break the 110.38 resistance that marks the two tops on the pink pattern. And... Uh, will create a new bullish run on the chart. You never know. Only the time will tell. So thank you very much for watching. This was Damien from ForexBolt.com. Looking forward to see you on the next live Forex training session. And until then, I wish you happy trading.